The next major Bitcoin move is going to be explosive and a lot of people are sitting on the edge of their seats right now wondering which direction that is going to be. Is it going to be towards the upside or towards the downside? Today guys, I am going to talk about what I see happening in the market. I'm going to talk about uh, who is actually dumping a lot of Bitcoin at this very moment. We're having hundreds of millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin being dumped by massive whales, but also we have different whales accumulating Bitcoin. I'm going to talk about the next major move and everything you need to know about if you're holding any crypto at all. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Chris, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now so kicking it off on the four hourly time frame you can see that after going down and almost reaching the orange box we had a big bounce towards the upside we didn't reach the resistance level all the way up here instead before we went there the bears took control and they have now pushed us down so in general guys what i see happening here is consolidation in between these two orange boxes for a little while before we see that next decisive move however one thing i need to point out also is that on the daily time frame we still have this uh, 200 day moving average this green line right here which is further consolidating and strengthening this support level down here so it's going to take a lot for us to break down below the orange box and the green line here, guys. So be aware of that. And in general, after some sideways action, I do think the move is going to be towards the upside. So I think that like for the rest of the summer, we're going to go, we're going to have some small pumps, some some swings towards the upside and to the downside. However, in general, we're going to go sideways for the rest of the summer and then maybe in August, and uh, yeah, maybe beginning of August, we're going to see Bitcoin slowly start to grind upwards. And then we're going to have explosive moves probably towards the end of the year. So that is in general what I see happening in terms of price action and time frames. But look at this, guys. On the daily time frame, we did have this downward sloping channel. We broke down from it. As you know, there was a situation where we would either have to break down from this one or be supported by the orange box. So obviously what happened is that the orange box did not support us. Instead, we saw a drop below this and we saw a decent pullback. But now we are once again inside of this downward sloping channel. So this is on the daily time frame. So let's keep our eyes on this because this seems to continue to provide support here. So I'm gonna update you on that one as well. For Ethereum, we finally did see a drop down to the $3,264 level. And for Ethereum, we do have some more news in regards to the uh, Ethereum ETF that is coming up as well. So yeah, I'm gonna continue to update you on that. But I do think that Ethereum at these price points is not a bad idea to actually accumulate. So. That is what I am doing personally as well. Now, for traditional markets, we're going sideways. We have been going sideways for a week already. So uh, that is that for traditional markets. And I do think that eventually, because the traditional markets have gone up while Bitcoin has been going down, I do think that Bitcoin is eventually going to catch up with those gains. Now, let's talk about why you saw such a big drop for Bitcoin. Well, we had, of course, Mt. Gox announcing that they are going to start to distribute Bitcoin and it's fear in the market right now that the people that are receiving the Bitcoin are going to dump it into the market. But not only that, yesterday you had the US government dump, uh, I think they sold about $250 million worth of Bitcoin. So the US government are dumping Bitcoin on our faces. You can see that they sent almost 4,000 Bitcoin right here to Coinbase Prime. So Coinbase Prime is the um, OTC division of Coinbase so yes, they're selling. However, it's not they're not market selling at this very moment. It's not like they sent 4,000 Bitcoin and just dumped it into the order book. That's not what happened. Instead, Coinbase Prime are going to either, if they have an OTC buyer, they will you know, connect it that way, or they will slowly over time uh, sell it into the market. So either way, yes, it does add selling pressure, or at the very least, it takes away buying pressure because buyers who would normally buy from the market could buy those Bitcoin OTC. So... That is one thing to keep your eyes on as well. And also Germany have a lot of Bitcoin and they continued yesterday. They sent another 345 Bitcoin um, to sell. So German government, US government and potentially Mt. Gox are, well, these two are dumping right now. Mt. Gox potentially going to dump. But 
even though we saw that, this is not even such a big amount. So what you saw, you've seen bigger sell inflows into Coinbase Prime in the past. So they sold 4,000 Bitcoin. However, they've handled batches of two to 49,000 Bitcoin in sell liquidity previously, and the Bitcoin price has still been doing pretty well. So I would not say that you should be too scared of what's going on here with US government selling, because what Bitcoin has proven is that despite all of this, we still have Bitcoin holding some key levels. We still have Bitcoin not in a free fall. So uh, I do think that Bitcoin is very, very strong right now. And there's a lot of people, the lower we go, if we come down to this orange box or any point lower, there's so many people lined up, so many institutions lined up to buy Bitcoin at those levels. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. In terms of liquidations as well, where are we going to potentially see the next major move? Well, when you're going to see a uh, short squeeze, you can see on the top side here. So the short squeeze, it's quite some price action off. So we have to reach about uh, yeah, 61,500 in order to have those um, big short squeezes. And then you have another level here at $62,000, 62,500, give or take. So if Bitcoin price goes up to those points, and then the short uh, positions are going to get liquidated and we're going to have a pop towards the upside. Now towards the downside, it is a little bit more stacked. You can see that from 60,500 all the way down to 60,240, you do have a lot of longs here, which could get liquidated if the price goes down to this point. So those are the key levels you need to watch in terms of liquidations. Also tomorrow, you do have two point, I think it's 2.7, yeah, 2.7 billion dollars worth of options expiring tomorrow. So be prepared for big volatility tomorrow, guys. You also have a quadruple witching, which is, it only happens four times a year. And it is uh, when uh, it is expirations of index futures, index options, options and futures so they all expire simultaneously which typically leads into more volatility as well so in general guys tomorrow and especially keep your eyes on the liquidations here especially tomorrow you could see some big volatility especially as we are also going to see some uh, key data which is the core pc price index month over month you have the personal income month over month and personal spending all being released tomorrow so this is also going to affect the markets which we need to be prepared for in terms of the spot ethereum etfs writers posted a link yesterday that they expect it to launch potentially as soon as july 4th so some sources are claiming that so i think that this is going to spark something nice i think that this is going to be one of the key things to spark the upwards trend again okay so i'm not going to say it's going to happen immediately i do think that for the rest of the let's say for the rest of june and july you're going to see mostly sideways action however this is slowly going to have a bigger effect as time goes on and it's going to spark the catapult towards the upside okay that is what i believe is going to happen and guys despite the market fud the net inflow to Bitcoin's largest wallets reached its highest level since May. So even though the US are dumping on us, even though Germany are dumping on us, whales are accumulating Bitcoin in a very fast manner here. In fact, also what I wanted to show you is that the USDC net inflows into centralized exchanges hit a one-year high yesterday of $224 million. And this was actually two days ago. So when we saw the big drop, well, there was a lot of whales willing to buy the dip here. So that is all good. You have fiat and you have stable coins lined up to accumulate on these dips. Also, Gary Gensler has said that, or is it his mom? Gensler, mom. Well, I don't think it is his mom. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Gensler says that uh, the um, yeah everything is going smoothly in regards to the launch of the spot Ethereum ETFs. Okay. So everything is still going according to plan. You have the fear and greed index also being at its lowest point since September of 2023. And when we hit this level in September of 2023, you saw a big rally for Bitcoin as well. So people are really, really fearful right now. So that means that um, 
yeah we could be in for some pumps because remember the market is usually wrong and also a reminder that lingo we're only uh, a couple of hours away from the pre-sale is happening today on thursday so if you want to get some lingo tokens you know that i think that this project is going to do pretty well so if you want to get some lingo tokens you have the opportunity it's starting today on thursday so uh yeah just uh, be aware of that but apart from that guys thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next one